many of God's people have gone weary in their faith. And so the title of this would be, What Happened to That Crazy Faith That You Once Had? What happened to that faith that you were willing to go through the line of fire for the Lord? That you were willing to be ridiculed for the Lord? That you were willing to be mocked for the Lord? What happened to that 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 fiery faith that you had? What happened to that type of faith, that crazy faith? That you were willing to move mountains. It may have looked foolish to other people, but you were willing to, to go beyond. Many of you were willing to walk off your job when the Lord has spoken to you and told you it's time for you to depart. It's time for you to go leave the job. And you didn't have anything else set up. You didn't have anything else prepared. But yet and still, you knowing the voice of God, you knowing the voice of God and you being obedient to his word, to him. You had that faith that whatever the Lord is telling me to do, I have enough faith to believe that he has something greater for me. I have enough faith to believe that he has something else prepared for me, something else greater. And you did it without even questioning, without even a doubt. You did it because that's the type of faith and that's the type of love level you had for the Lord. At whatever cost you were willing to die to yourself, at whatever cost you were willing to give up, whatever. What happened to that faith? What happened to your will to 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 deny yourself? The will that God have given you. Many of you, you had the type of faith that you were willing to lay hands on the sick and they would recover. You were willing to believe God for whatever, whatever it is that God was telling you to do. Many of you have, God have used you to even raise the dead. That is the type of crazy faith that you had, that unashamed faith. But now that faith have drawn up. Now that faith have withered up. What happened to that faith that you was able to move mountains? That fiery faith that you once had. That vigilant love that you once had. Many of you, God told you to go and, you know, pray over this land or pray over this house, you know, and it was yours. And you did just that, but now you waver in those things that God is telling you to do. You wavering in your faith. You wavering in your reasoning to hear God. And I'm here to tell you today that many of you, God is restoring your faith. You're saying to yourself, you're saying, even speaking to the Lord, Lord, what happened to my faith? What happened to when I was more zealous, more zealous for you? What happened when I had more compassion? What happened when I had more love, more tenacity, more drive, more of you that I went and I just did whatever it is that you spoke me to do. I let go whatever it is that you told me to let go, whatever you desired of me, whatever you required of me, Lord, I did just that. Lord, what happened? I want to get back to that place. God is saying this is your season to get back. This is your season to reset. This is your season to get back into the position that you was once in. This is the position this is a season that you need to position your heart back on the Lord. This is a season that you need to set your heart, your fast, your face on fasting, your faith on fasting and seeking him diligently. Because many of you have lost your drive, your, 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 you know, that thing that made you go, go hard for the Lord. And many of you who wasn't strong in faith, didn't have enough faith, didn't quite believe God is challenging your belief. I believe that God is moving you all to from glory to glory, from faith to faith. If you continue to allow him to grow, you allow him to prune you. This is what I'm saying. 
but we have to get in the word and begin to seek God. We have to pray. We have to fast. We have to deny ourselves. We have to set aside us and put him first. The Lord of Lord, the King of Kings, Yeshua, we have to put him first. So this is the end of this video. I pray that somebody be encouraged. I pray that your faith be restored in the Lord. I pray that you be renewed. I pray that you be equipped in the spirit. I pray that you be equipped spiritually in the mighty name. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, that you set your mind, that you set everything that you are, everything that you have on the Lord Jesus Christ, that you forsake you and pick up Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah.